As President of the Science Council, I am passionate about maintaining the UK's position as a leading scientific nation. We are renowned for our integrity, which in a time of great environmental, societal and economic change, puts us in a position of providing much needed global leadership. But we forget at our peril that this position can be lost quickly. Science is under huge public scrutiny and we need to work hard to earn the respect of those we serve. Trust is hard to earn but easy to lose. As scientists, we play a crucial role in so many industries, the charity sector, education, finance, government, health and well-being and beyond. So our colleagues in these industries need to know that we are always working to the highest professional standards. That's where the Science Council Register comes in. This provides independent, peer-led recognition of achievement and evidence of the professionalism required to join the global community of professional scientists. And that evidence must be up to date. To stay on the register, you need to demonstrate that you're maintaining or advancing your skills and knowledge through continuing professional development, or CPD. One of my personal priorities is to promote inclusion across the profession. There is much more to be done, and I know that the Science Council will continue to be a leading proponent of EDI for the sector. By living the values of equity, diversity and inclusion, and critically assessing and acknowledging the inequalities that exist, the Science Council and its member bodies will create greater opportunity for any individual to fulfil their scientific potential, irrespective of their background or circumstances. In so doing, it will also help science to better serve society by attracting the widest possible talent to the science workforce and fostering a greater diversity of scientific ideas, research and technology. Having evolved 20 years ago from an informal network of professional science bodies, the Science Council's membership now stands at over 35 organisations. These have a far-reaching stakeholder group associated through the Employer Champion, Technicians Commitment and Technical Pathways programmes. The range of these programmes demonstrates a remarkable breadth and depth of scientific disciplines. It also demonstrates the Science Council's ability to bring the science community together, to harness its collective expertise in the pursuit of professional excellence and using that expertise to inform public policy. Having met some of our inspiring degree apprentices, technicians and registrants, I'm hugely optimistic about the future of the science profession. It is organisations like the Science Council that will play a prominent role in ensuring that the profession is attractive to everyone, is respected in the UK and the rest of the world, and inspires the public to have confidence and positively engage with science. As the President of the Science Council, it is my desire that through our membership, and the convening power of the Science Council, we are able to grow the understanding of the role that science plays in tackling the most pressing global challenges and, through collaboration, that we deepen the trust in science and the ability to effect positive change. <laughs> <laughs>